Hi, I'm going to show you how you can get the XML data into the SQL table. So let's start with, we'll take a new query and we'll write query for that. Select star from, we have one SQL function that is used to get the data file. So this is open row set bulk and we need to put the file path here. So I've taken one ex uh, example here, as you can see, uh, which is having the main header as catalog and inside that we have book and inside book we have author, title, gender, price, published date and description. So let's copy the file path. And paste it. And we'll write single blob which will read the file as binary and then close it and we can name it as temporary table with an alias name as T this and column C so let's execute it now you can see that we imported the file here And we can see the data by using now you can see this complete file here. So get the data in the form of table. So before that, let's change the, let's put a new name to this column. So, select star from, and we will put as S with a column name C. Execute it. Now you can see the column name as C. So our next step is to get the data in the form of table. So to do that, we will write supply notes. Now this cross apply we use to get the row data and we can read it uh, uh, about it on Google. Why do we use cross apply? So now as we have seen that the main header is catalog. So uh, under catalog we have book and after that inside book we have all these headers. So under codes, we will write catalog book, close it, and we can name it as A. And yes. now to insert the data into the relevant columns, to do that, We will write few queries. So we will use a dot this book query. Now inside book, we have author. So let's select this. And we'll paste it here, close it. And 
we have forgotten. Comma, so author is a var char. You can give it a size of 30. And we can name this column as whatever we want to. So I'll give it a name as author only. So to check the column that we are getting data, let's execute it. Now you can see that we have got this entire data. And similarly for other headers like title, gender, price, we'll do the same. So we'll just copy it. So our next header is title. So we'll give it a name, same title. And then we're here we can give it any name, any column name, title. Price. Publish date. And we have one more column, so we'll just copy this. For the description. So let's rename it Gendry, then price. Published date and description. Now publish price should be integer. Or we can make it as decimal. So we have taken every column, we will execute it and let's see the results. So now you can see that we have inserted all the data into the respective columns. So now uh, this is our temporary table and to put it into a table, we need to create one table for this. So we'll create a table. Now, uh, as you can see, I've selected database as demo and I'm gonna create a table inside this database. So create table. I'll give the table name as catalog. And let's give the input parameters here. So ID, we want it to be null and primary key, identity. Comma, next is author name.
author, so it can be Varkar 30. Then we have title. Gentry Singh Barkash thirty price is decimal published date as date and description. as well cash it can be uh, let's make it um, 50 um, this is done so we'll execute it We can fresh here and we can see the table. As you can see, the table has been created now. So our next step is uh, we can insert these value into this table. So to do that, we will insert it into that table, insert into catalog So we'll simply execute it. It will insert all the data into this table. So to check that, we can write query as select star from catalog and we'll execute it. You can see this table has been created. Thank you so much for watching it.